Hello everyone, my name is Gus. Hi, I'm Woody. And today we have a very, very scary video from Finland. Hmm. This was taken in 2016, and it was by like a security camera. Okay. And basically illustrates two things. Um, why learning to swim is important, number one. And number two, how oblivious people can be around people drowning. Because I feel like, and you've said this before, that people think that when drowning happens, is like the movies. Where like you're yelling and wailing and it's like, help and help. And it doesn't happen like that. So hopefully this video will help people identify situations like this and stay vigilant because it's tough to watch. Okay. Before we get started, I just want a quick warning. Don't watch this with kids. In my opinion. Okay. This is not for kids. So you see this little boy comes in, in the water, and you know how the pools dip. So he immediately is in too deep water. He tries to swim back. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, man, the guy's right there watching. Look at that. He's right in front of him. Oh my God, dude. That's really difficult. Look at this other guy right here by the wall. He is at arm's length of helping. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, my God. This is rough. No, I'm not joking. I'm not, that's way worse than I thought. The poor kid. He's are, By the way, you know he's already drinking tons of water. Look at this woman. He's trying to reach out to her. Did you see that? I mean, just think how desperate... He is, and the woman just walks away. Oh man, no, uh, no, this is this is rough. He's he can't get his head above water. Oh man, please grab that. Please grab that side. Please, yes, pull. Oh my. I think he pulled his head for a second, but didn't make it. Yeah, he's already he's already flooded with water. Oh man, this is this is everyone around. No one helped. They have oblivious. Completely oblivious. Um, He's right next to them. He's just floating there. Yeah. We, I mean, now he needs to be taken out and probably CPR immediately. Yeah. Look at that. He's just now he's just floating. What yeah. is going on? Nobody is watching that a child is submerged, not moving, not coming out. He's just that's it. He's lifeless right there. Yeah, no, he's unconscious now. It's just it's unbelievable. One thing they listen in the in the Red Cross lifeguard class, they teach you how hard it is to recognize drowning. Look at that! I think somebody finally spot him. What? Nope. They no swim way. by him. Look at the kid just floating head down. I don't know what. Like, is there any other time where you don't want to like jump through the screen and help? I mean, just look at this, like no one even bad an eye, like no one paid attention. And I'm not saying, well, obviously these people are malicious or doing this on purpose, but wow, the level of unawareness, look at this kid is gone. He is completely lifeless there underwater and no, look how close that person is, how close they are. How can you not notice that? They don't. It happens a lot. I mean, more than you think in Florida. So one of the requirements, you see, this is a pool that allows children in it without a lifeguard. There's no lifeguard. So there's nobody trained to recognize this. 
lifeguard training teaches you to recognize these things. Wow. And proper swimming teaches a child that if they're struggling to get on their back and at least have their face above the water. That's one of the first principles you learn. I mean, it's just it's just really I'm trying to comment with things that <clears throat> can prevent it and but it's just unbelievably disturbing. I've I've he's I just, literally I he's on touching. top of this lady. Yes, he's not moving. Wow. 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 Yeah, that's that's one of the worst ones you've we've shown me ever. I mean, this is like Can I listen, I, I want to just emphasize a couple of things. I have learned a lot about this lately. If you have a pool and it allows children to swim in it in a public place, it need it really I there are more and more rules requiring a lifeguard. And lifeguards are trained to recognize this stuff. Those other people, they're how do I put it? How they teach it in the Red Cross lifeguard class. They see it. But their brain does not associate it with anything being wrong. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's like, yeah, they're in the water. It's like I'm in the water. They don't understand that the child is not breathing. Of course, time is of the essence. And, you know, you need to be giving CPR really, really fast because he's basically drowned. And uh, um, the other thing is, is that you said it at the beginning, like, who let the child in that water without knowing how to swim? We know we, we know he doesn't know how to swim. That's that's that's, right. that's that's the inability to swim when you can't get your head above the water. You're just struggling. You're flipping upside down. You you don't have control of your body. So, you know, learn to swim. Proper formal swim lessons. You know what the reduction is of drowning if a child has proper forming swim lessons you know what the percentage of less chance of dying is 88 percent wow state of florida has done studies so that that's rough so uh two things i know about this video one is the child's mother which i assume everyone watching this video said where are the parents and they're gonna blame the parents the child's mother was at the spa they just left the kid alone at the pool so she just went to the spa um, the second thing, and most importantly, he survived. Oh, thank God. This kid made it. And did you read the details on how? Was proper CPR given? No. The, there's not a whole lot of details about it besides the fact that in spite of what you saw, which for a lot of people, this is probably the first time they see somebody drowning for real. Despite of what you saw, this kid made it. He was that resilient. Um, Children, and I, uh, I get attacked, you know, we, we've done videos like this in the past. Uh, we saw a video where two little Chinese girls were drowning and people were around and not jumping in. And I was super frustrated and people were really upset about that. They were like, well, the people that were around, they don't know how to swim. They're not going to die to save somebody. But in this case, I feel like it's hard to find an excuse. Everyone is walking around with water here, like at the belly button. So this is not one of those situations where these people couldn't jump in because they were going to drown. This is just being oblivious. And I get it. It's easy from here. I have a bird's eye view of the pool. That's right. And I know exactly what's coming. These people didn't know it was coming. If they knew it was coming, this kid wouldn't have drowned. But, man. It's not that they know it's coming. <sighs> I'm telling you. we. I took the Red Cross lifeguard class recently. People that aren't trained to recognize drowning, their brain does not associate that with anything being wrong. Kids are underwater, swimming underwater, coming up all of the time. When you glance at him, he's underwater. He's flipping. It looks like he's having fun, right? And if you just see a child doing flips underwater, but you're not sitting there staring at him the whole time yeah. like a lifeguard would be that recognizes, uh oh, wait. I'm seeing some signs of struggle. One more moment that his head's not above water. I'm jumping in and lifting him out. 
You yeah. see what I mean? Like it's easy to sit here and judge that. Yeah. But what we're taught in the lifeguard training class is it's very common not to recognize that. Wow. Which is why you need trained lifeguards at facilities that allow children to enter a public water place. Yeah. And that's look, I, the I, difference. I fully admit that my reaction and feedback to this video is highly driven by emotion. The fact that I have a nine-year-old son and I can picture Mark drowning. Um, you know, it's driven by emotion. I get that. And if people are going to attack me for that, so be it. But I don't want to. I don't want to be like if I was in the pool, I would have been the superhero and identify this don't, immediately because because that's probably not true. It, it, we just but for know. some reason, and I and I wonder if people watching this are like me in this way. Sometimes you do like I keep my eye on people. Like it happens a lot at Ginny. You know, at Ginny, when you're getting ready, there's a lot of people coming down the stairs, down the down those stairs to jump in the water. And depending on the water level, like it can be up to like our necks, and some of them are kids. And a Ginny happens to be a lot of Latin kids. I'm Latin. I see them. I hear them speak in Spanish. I know what they are. And I know that in our culture, swimming is not a thing that is taught in school or that everyone learns about. My mom doesn't know how to swim. She put us in swim school since we were five because she didn't. She wanted to break the cycle. Her parents didn't know how to swim. Their parents didn't know. She's like, I want my kids to know how to swim. Right. Um, and I keep my eye on them. Like nobody's telling me this. Nobody taught me this. I didn't do a Red Cross class. But when I see kids entering the water, I literally stop getting ready and I watch. And there's been situations mm. in the past where people get frustrated, including you. And with reason that I'm the last one. I'm the last one to get ready. And not every time it's been because of that. But I know there's been times where I'm like, I'm going to be last, but I want to watch this. I need to pay attention. One time we even went down at the, at the Little Devil, that crack there at Ginny, because somebody said somebody went down, a free diver went down and didn't come out. And we happened to be there and we went in to try to find the body. We yep. didn't find them. So maybe we missed them or whatever. Um, but at Ginny, I like to pay attention. And I don't do it on purpose. It's just like my nature. Let me keep an eye on them. Kid went under. He came out, seems to be swimming. Great. I keep going and keep getting set up. But I do pause a lot. I mean, I respect that. Yeah, and I'm sure <laughs> there's I, people like me. It's something special. I respect that. That, that you, but I, I, I think my reaction has to continue to focus on just the purpose of dive talk is training, right? And yeah. training teaches things that if you're not trained, you don't know. And I, I can tell. Obviously, none of those people are non-caring, right. right? Any of them would have picked that child up if they knew he was drowning. Absolutely. So I've already said what I had to say because we had to, in in the in the Red Cross training you have to actually watch these videos and it's and recognize and pick out the moment in these real videos of of there's like moving water right so is there a child under that moving water or not it's hard to see when the sun is reflecting down on that in an outside pool it's really hard to see and they're trying to show you what a lifeguard how they move their eyes in various zones and so forth I'm just saying, yeah. If there would have been a trained lifeguard there, at, and you know, also whatever they did, thank. I'm just mostly happy to hear, and now I feel better about talking about it that somehow this child survived. It and did. we do learn that child children are very resilient to these types of things. They tend to come back better than adults. Yep. I don't know their systems are you know maybe a higher metabolism, whatever it may be. But uh, I believe they must have given CPR in this situation. Yeah. And by the way, CPR in a drowning situation, since we have a moment to educate, is two breaths first if it's a drowning victim, not chest compressions first. First two breaths, then go into the chest compressions and then obviously yell for help with an AED and continue 911 continue, yeah. 9 and all that. But man, Gus, this was uh, – it's frustrating. I mean, this, I, I thought the child was like touching somebody. They were so close, yeah. bumping into them. I try to be logical. I try to be rational. But sometimes some of these videos just hit me emotionally and I react emotionally and yeah, so be it. tough, man. Um, but in case you didn't see the video that I was referring to earlier with the two Chinese girls drowning, it was part of a kind of a combo, combo of videos. Uh, um, 
you know, a, a combination of videos about tough situations, things that are tough to watch. So I'm going to leave it right here so you guys can watch it. Keep your eye on kids. Keep your eye on other people's kids. Just be safe out there. Definitely. So see you on the next one. Bye.